I've got to the bit now where I'm getting the success and the support and the funding and the money is starting to come in. And at this point, because of my success that year, when I went into 2011, uh, my dad had had a conversation with another gymnast dad. So Dan Keaton's at the time, the, for sure at that point, he was the best gymnast in the country. Um, I'd trained with him at Huntingdon. My dad had a good relationship with him and he said, look, I've been approached by, well, I've approached Red Bull and they're really interested in, you know, working with Sam. We've had lots of different pockets of funding, which has been amazing. The media attention's growing. I'm not sure at this point I'm the right person to be handling all of this. Have you got any advice for me? So he spoke to Dan Keaton's dad, who was brilliant and he's always been a good friend of my dad's and a real support for him because parents really didn't have that. There was no one to go to at that point when your kid starts becoming successful and they're getting all of this attention. But he was great and he said, well, Dan's with a, a sports agency called Mission Sports, and I'm sure they'd be happy to have a conversation with you. So my dad spoke to Mission Sports, was put in contact with them, and they said, look, he's only 17, so we wouldn't look to work with him right now, but we can certainly advise you and help you with things. And when he gets to the point, when he turns 18, at that stage, if you feel it's the right move, we'd be happy to work with him. So 2011 comes around. I've just gone to the World Championships with the seniors at the back end of 2010. Uh, I've just turned 18. I've been put on funding for the first time, so I'd gone on to D-level funding and how it works in gymnastics and all the Olympic sports is it's done on different criteria and different categories. So you've got A funding up here, which is a top. And this is, this is a system that was in place when I was actively competing. I'm not sure if it's exactly the same now, but I'm sure it'd be, I'm pretty sure it's similar. You have A funding at the top, and normally what qualifies you for A funding is an Olympic medal or a world medal. Then you've got B funding, so that's normally a, a world final, a European medal. Then you have C funding, I think that's a World Cup final, uh, or World Cup medal, European final, and then you've got D funding, which is normally done, I believe, on your potential to climb up to C, uh, B and A funding, your potential to represent Great Britain on the international stage, potentially win medals, and it's also done on your age category. So you get to a certain age, you sit on that D-level funding. So I'd moved up to this D-level funding. So the first time in my life, there's money coming in every month for gymnastics at 18, which was amazing. And at this point, you know, my my dad and my family had kind of steadied the ship. We were out of the recession and for the first time that money kind of would go to me and that was, I guess, for the, I was earning money and it was, uh, which was a cool feeling. It was brilliant. And going into 2011, I'd, my dad had had these conversations with Red Bull. I'd met them. I'd signed a deal with Red Bull and from that moment on, I was a Red Bull athlete. Uh, which was pretty cool. I mean, it was telling people you're a Red Bull athlete and drinking Red Bull all the time, and they sent me all the Red Bull kit. Red Bull kit's really cool because it's only for Red Bull athletes. You can't buy it. Uh, and it says that on the kit. That was just, that was massive for me. But it's funny because in my head, I always, ex I expected that stuff. I never let it, I never let it really go to my head because, you know, I was like, yeah, I'm going to go to the Olympics. I'm going to win a gold medal. This is kind of what happens. And not in an arrogant way, um, but it, the one thing that I think very early on, I didn't realize at this point, but I realized later down the line was because I was so invested and the only thing that I cared about was competing and training and not missing training, Red Bull, they were, they were a really great company to be part of. And they would put on athlete summit events. So every year, a couple of times a year, they get all their athletes together. And we go on like days where you do escape rooms or you try other people's sports to get the athletes together to throw ideas around. And athlete, Red Bull is such a cool company because most of the sports are like extreme sports. But I think gymnastics was in many ways at that point, probably not best suited to Red Bull because it was so rigid and stuck in its ways. And we did find it very hard to kind of get, they found it difficult as a company to get into gymnastics because it was so set in its ways and it was very old school the way it was done. Um, but it was an amazing partnership and every time I'd go away, I went to Berlin for the European Championships at 18 and uh, everyone would be like, oh, Sam, can you get some Red Bull? And Red Bull would send it to the hotel I was staying at so I'd have like three crates of Red Bull. So I was like everybody's best mate because everyone had free supplies of Red Bull for the whole trip. 